And welcome back once again to Super Metroid Phase on Hack 0.3. Where we have these ridiculous Death Stars floating around. Um, I just took a little food break. So, I, hopefully I'll be doing a little better now. And that was not nice. And these things take way too much. Last area, I know what sub maps the last gears are in, which one of them is here in Touch of Views. The other two are in the phase on mines. Don't worry about that later, maybe. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and collect the gears, finish the hack, and then I'll be going around exploring stuff on my own because watching me comb through all the rooms should not exactly be the most exciting thing you've ever watched, so. I'm just going to go ahead, click the gears, beat the game, and then if, in my own time, I'll be exploring, and if I find anything interesting, I may show it off. Like, if I find, I may go ahead and take screenshots of all the phase on particles I come across, and put them all in a video that aren't in this run, so that you know where they all are. I might do that, I might not, I don't know. This was just that map room, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It's a real door cap, but... There's some more interesting things in this hack that I'm, I haven't shown off, or I haven't come across yet, or just haven't done because I wasn't expecting them. So, there may be some extra bonus stuff besides the face and particles, too. And another thing I'm interested to see is whether or not the face on particles actually count towards my ending percentage. Like this one. 
on mines, which also houses something very interesting I've been hearing about, which we'll come across later. So yeah, crate was definitely unexpected right there. I mean, it's just in a hidden morph tunnel and then all of a sudden, right to the door after that, you get the crate in the middle of nowhere that's... And that's something I think is hard to do in hacks. When you're making a hack, is deciding you know, where you're going to put the bosses, what, where they're going to be. I mean, not just what they're going to guard, what item they're going to block you from getting so you can't advance till you defeat them. But more so, just where to place them. Because you can either. They created there, he was just kind of thrown in a random spot. You weren't really expecting that. And there were also ways where you can kind of build up to a boss room. Where the player is kind of expecting this next door that there's going to be a boss here. So there's a couple ways of doing it. Either way is wrong. They both, I think they should both probably be used. But... I should have known that there wasn't room or anything. Okay, now back here, if I remember this right. Okay, good, yeah. I'm just gonna grab these, because they're right here. However, you saw from the X-ray, there's more stuff behind there. I believe there's like another couple items in there. But I'm not gonna go for them, I'm just gonna. I'm going to try to finish this hack relatively fast. Just so I can move on to trying to find them more based on particles and stuff on my own. And some of the more other interesting tidbits that have been thrown in here. Of course, now that I say that, I'm probably going to go item hunting. So yeah, if you remember, you just go through the bottom door in the first room, and then... 
a little spot in the floor that you go through. And this will take you right, right to the mines. So with that, I think we'll leave the video off here. We'll pick it up in the phase of mines, looking for the last couple of gears.